Hey everybody! Well today I thought we could take a look at this really cool Funko Pop. Now I don't know if this was a Target exclusive but it says up here Target Con limited edition so it's possible maybe it was a Comic Con exclusive. Maybe some of you know and can comment in the comments. I think it came out in 2021 and of course I'm always late to the scene <laughs> when it comes to some of this stuff so I just found out about it. So this is a, a cool little diorama of arguably probably one of the saddest scenes in Star Trek history, the death of Mr. Spock. Now here on the back you can see a better view of it without any glare. So here you can see the scene where Kirk and Spock are talking to each other just before Mr. Spock dies from saving the Enterprise at the end of Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. He gave his life for the crew and the, and the uh, Enterprise and that's where he's in that little warp core uh, chamber right inside there. And all we shall be your friend. Live long and prosper. It's still hard for me to watch that scene, even today, after all these years. All right, well, let's go ahead and take this out of the box so we can get a closer look at it. All right, so here it is outside of the box now, and this is really cool. I really, really like this a lot. A perfect recreation in Funko Pop form of that very sad scene in the movie. This is so neat. So this is like a clear glass that they have right on here. I'll get some close-ups so we can kind of look at some of the details on here. And you can see Kirk and Spock with their hands up against the glass. Now the whole thing is just kind of, you know, an, a diorama. The way the whole thing is put together, you can see the way that that's molded in the back. There's not like, you know, a whole lot of stuff going on back there. I'll have to re-watch that scene again and see if I can kind of notice if there's more detail back here. It looks a little bland, a little bland, but, you know, overall... This is really cool. All right, let me uh, get some close-ups so we can check out all the details. So the floor of this thing looks pretty cool. You can kind of see this kind of square tile work that they've got going on there. There's that clear glass that keeps the two separated. There's Kirk. He's leaning down on his knee, and they're both wearing their uniforms, and they're very nicely done on here, painted very nice. Mr. Spock is wearing that glove, and it looks just like it, too, that he was wearing when he was reaching down into that, uh, that chamber. You can see their hands up against the glass like that, like they were in that scene. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can actually see Mr. Spock is doing the live long and prosper symbol with his hands. I'm not sure we can see it from this angle. It's really kind of hard to tell. You have to really kind of look. And then over here you can see uh, Kirk's hand is up against the glass like it was. They recreated it very nice. It's really hard to see Kirk's face because... He's right up against there. I kind of wish they would have maybe moved this out just a little bit somehow. And I don't know. Um, I'm not sure how they could have done it, but it's really hard to see Kirk's face. If I get down in here, you can see that he's looking very sad right there. Such a sad scene in the movie. I remember when I first saw this movie, when it came out in theaters, and I was absolutely heartbroken about the fact that they killed off Spock. I just could not believe they killed off Mr. Spock. It was the most, I remember sitting in my car for like several minutes not believing what I just saw because I thought, man, I can't believe they killed him off. They at least left a bit of a teaser at the end showing his casket on the Genesis planet and that kind of gave you hope that maybe they'd bring him back. But at the time I had heard that Leonard Nimoy was not interested in playing Mr. Spock anymore. So uh, I just assumed they were going to just you know, in the character. But I will say that in, during that scene, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. I mean, you could hear sniffles going on, myself included. <laughs> I mean, it was just such a, a sad scene. Because Mr. Spock is such an incredibly um, iconic character. You know, for being a character that doesn't have any emotions, he sure, in, you know, created a lot of emotions for a lot of people, which kind of just goes to show you how powerful uh, that character was. And of course, Leonard Nimoy. I mean, I watched him on so many different shows. I had the pleasure of meeting him twice. Super nice guy. Uh, 
I briefly got to talk to him and I told him he and I both shared the same birthday, March 26th. And he's like, oh yeah, oh that's great. And he goes, he goes, but not the same year, right? And I said, no, not the same year. We both laughed because of course he was older than I was, but what a cool guy. And I also remember there was an interview with Leonard Nimoy and he was talking about um, how when he was younger, he was a huge fan of Danny Kay, I believe was who it was. Uh, Danny Kay was an actor and, and a dancer and singer, and he was doing a show in a theater, and Leonard Nimoy waited in the back because he knew that Danny Kay was going to come out after the show, and he wanted to meet him. And I believe uh, Danny Kay came out of the theater and pretty much just pushed him off to the side. He, I don't think he even said hello to him or anything. He was just, he, it kind of shattered his image of Danny Kay after he kind of, you know, had so much respect for him. And he said it kind of broke his heart. And so he, he always said that if he ever got as popular as Danny Kay uh, was, that he would never do that to his fans. And he said that since then, he, he's kind of regretted that promise because, of course, he became so incredibly popular. But I think he really has upheld that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, you know, that attitude about trying to be good to his fans. And he really was. At least the two times that I saw him, he was fantastic. But yeah, this is such a cool set. In case you're wondering what the bottom of it looks like, this is it right here. It's got a little bit of writing down there, a copyright of 2021, so I'm guessing that's when this came out. So it's just kind of molded. You can see where the uh, figures get glued into place right there. But this is cool. This is such a cool set. I don't normally collect Funko Pops, but they have come out with some stuff, and I've done a couple of videos on them of some unusual ones. I, I like like the Kool-Aid Man that I did a video on. That one in particular is pretty cool, and also I think U2's makes a Kool-Aid Man uh, that is superior. But this is a neat set. I love it. I like that this is more of a diorama one. I think they called this one, uh, what was it? Um, Funko Pop Moment. So I don't know if they do more of these. I'm assuming they do. I've never seen this before. I just happened to see it on Amazon. So I did buy this on Amazon. It was surprisingly affordable at $23. It took a little longer to get it. I don't think it's normally, uh, it's probably like a third party seller or something like that. I don't know how many of these ma they made. They said that it's a limited edition. So uh, I don't know what the edition number is. Probably just as however many they sell and then that's it. But if you're a fan of that movie and uh, this, the scene, of course, being so iconic as it was, uh, I think it's great. This is definitely going to be a nice addition to my collection. And I really, really love this. So cool. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the review, and if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'd very much appreciate it. And in the meantime, I will see you on the next video. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then. So thank you again, and have a good one.